The summer of 2023 vaulted the Canadian forestry sector into the spotlight. The most intense forest and wildfire season prompted intense water cooler, kitchen table, coffee shop conversations, all about forestry's place in the climate crisis. You could taste the tarnished air. You could smell the acrid after effects. You may have felt the sting in your eyes and your throat. Smoke from fires in northern Ontario forced the cancellation of outdoor sporting events across Canada and the United States. It sharpened the discussion we have started in this podcast. The forestry and wood product industry has a role to play in the battle against climate change. In fact, we're learning the industry has an urgent role to play in the transition from a fossil fuel-based economy to a world economy driven by cleaner, sustainable energy sources. So in this series, we intensify the conversation. We explore the space-age technology used to map our forests. We're going to introduce you to Canadian companies developing and manufacturing biofuels. And we have Canadian forest products and technology that not only reduces carbon emissions, but has the potential to reduce CO2 concentration in the atmosphere. So it means we have cleaner emissions and cleaner air. I'm Dave Trafford. I'm Aaron Trafford. Welcome to Canadian Forestry Can Save the World. A Story Studio Network podcast produced for Forestry for the Future.